Testing out the new Netview bird pie pole system in the backyard. It's sturdy and easy to set up. The birds love it and the squirrels are frustrated by it. Okay, we're going to do the review on the new bird pie pole system outdoors, which could be a challenge because I'm surrounded by four or five squirrels right now, so I've got a, some peanuts here to keep them busy while I go through the system. And here's the big picture of all the parts that came with it. It's really an impressive system. It'll show up on your uh, doorstep in a really big box, fairly heavy. Uh, and it's really well packaged so it doesn't get damaged. And one of the things about this system is it has a built-in uh, squirrel baffle. So that'll be a real challenge to see how that works. So let's go through the system real quick here. We've got four posts, and they're real, uh, real solid, greater than an inch in diameter. And what you do is, this is the base, and I marked, made a mark here of 18 inches, and you screw this into the ground to at least 18 inches with this included uh, bar, which also doubles when you're done as a stake you can put in the ground and mount the camera in for a ground-mounted uh, camera. And it comes in four pieces. And now here's the baffle. This baffle is a real interesting design. It's really solid. The idea, of course, is it hangs down about somewhere between four and uh, four and a half feet or so off the ground with this spring on it. And that'll presumably stop the squirrels from getting up there. So this will be fun to test out if we give it the squirrels and see these guys out here. <laughs> like, hey, buddy. Yeah. What do you think, bud? And you attach this to the right distance on the pole and the baffle sits on top of it. So you've got your pole and then you've got two nice solid crossbars with eight hangers that can be adjusted in a number of ways on and of course these can be adjusted in a number of ways and the whole thing comes with 18 wing nuts to uh, secure the hangers and uh, the cross pieces and everything that goes with it and four end caps once you're done hanging everything you put those on the end cap what the squirrels do is they run up my leg when I'm trying to do it and review outside, so I put a pile over there. So that's got this nice bird fight top cap, and I know that this spot right here on the very top is going to be really popular with birds, uh, especially the screech owls at night, so I may set a camera focused right on this top part of the night, and I guarantee you the screech owls are going to sit up there, or certainly sit on the crossbar, so it'll be real fun for the birds in the daytime, but it'll also be a lot of fun for the screech owls at night. And so this is the proper set, so it comes with the uh, Wi-Fi camera, the same camera that goes on the bird five bamboo feeder and the regular feeder. And it's a real nice camera. I already have the app on my phone, so I just uh, hooked it up to the home Wi-Fi network literally in under two minutes. And it comes with a charging cable, and you want to charge it and for about, you know, eight, eight hours or so to make it fully charged. And then it comes with a solar unit, and you can use... Uh, these two mounting things to mount the camera and the solar unit. And there's really a lot of uh, flexibility in the way you mount the camera depending on what, what you want to show with it. Yeah, I just double checked the diameter of the post is uh, one and a half inches. And here in Florida with our sandy soil and it'll be really easy to screw this into 18 inches. In fact, I might even want to go a little bit more than 18 inches to make it uh, really strong depending on how much weight you're going to put on it. But uh, real nice uh, coated. What do you think, bud? So there's the big picture of everything that comes with it. It's really a pretty impressive system, so let's go ahead and uh, get it set up. And I tested out the Wi-Fi camera while it was on the table and it worked fine. I have excellent coverage at least 100 feet from the router with no problems. This old pole system here that I made myself basically has been up for about a decade, so we're going to try out the new bird five pole system. It'll certainly look a lot better than this, and I'm really going to be interested in testing out the squirrel baffle, so that should provide some comedic relief, if nothing else, to see if the squirrels try to beat the squirrel baffle. So let's get it installed. You've simply put the uh, auger pole into the ground and turn it in with the uh, handle that comes with it. You can use a level to make sure you got it straight or just like I did, you can eyeball it pretty well. And I put it in a little more than 18 inches in the ground. Now here in Florida it's been a lot of rain recently and it's sandy soil so it's real easy to put it in the ground. I put it in a little deeper to give it more support. So that's the base right there. And then when you're done you can 
remove this handle and this handle is actually a stake and it has a thread in it where you can use if you want to to mount your camera on this somewhere on the ground if you want to monitor it like that and then once you got that in there you put the short piece of pipe on there and the long piece of pipe on there and you put it in the wing nuts there and then you're ready to finish up the installation this collar or ring here is what's going to support the baffle put it about four to four and a half feet off the ground for starters and see how it works with the squirrels. I'm just going to leave it finger tight for now and then try it out. You put the spring on there like that. Okay, so I got to raise it up a little bit because it's bumping onto this thing down here. So you want to raise it up a little higher. Okay, so I put the uh, baffle collar up to where the spring just about touches the top of this pole here. And then we'll put the baffle back on it. There we go. So we've got the baffle on here. Actually, I'll turn it, I'll just turn it like this so it's easier to see. We've got the baffle on here and it's spring loaded. Yeah, it looks like it could be some, some fun watching the squirrels with that. The integrated squirrel baffle is an important part of this pole system as effective squirrel baffles are not cheap to buy and add later to your bird feeder system. So I wanted to give this a thorough test, so I filled the bird feeders with irresistible unsalted roasted peanuts. And I'm happy to say that my backyard squirrels tried and failed and tried again to defeat this slinky torpedo baffle. Now we're ready to do the top part. Okay, now we're going to put the first crossbar here above the baffle. And we're going to put this short piece right here, top of that, and before you put the final cross piece on, we'll put these two camera mounts here, and that's just the recommended starter spot for your camera mounts, we'll take a look at that later, but they can, they're pretty flexible, you can wait and see how it works out where you want to put your cameras. The final cross piece up here, you can experiment with how you want to set them up, so we've got the base in there augered in with the pieces the baffle and the two cross pieces and the camera mounts now let's finish up i'm almost six foot two this thing looks like it's about uh, almost seven feet tall with it having about 20 inches in the ground so you can make it put it even further in the ground but it's actually kind of nice to be nice and tall like that so a lot of flexibility on how high you want it a couple of nice little touches here they put a rubber protector around the bottom of this so that it's uh, rubber on metal. It's not metal on metal. It's rubber bouncing on there. That's kind of a nice touch. And it's got a stainless steel screw. And I'm just looking at this. I'm pretty sure that this is going to defeat the squirrels. There's the bamboo bird feeder over there. Well, they can't defeat that squirrel baffle. So, you know, my squirrels are inherently lazy. <laughs> and they're, first off, I don't think they're going to be able to defeat this baffle. And secondly, unless they're super hungry, I'm not even sure they're going to try that hard, but we'll see. One thing you got to remember when it comes to a bird feeder and a baffle is you want to keep it you know, far enough away from a tree that they can't jump down on it. And of course as I'm installing this, see how you like that squirrel baffle, huh? There you go. Well, it's a cold and windy day by Florida standards today, so I'm trying to finish this up before the sun goes down. I've got the first crossbar on, and then the top piece, and then two camera mounts which you know you can adjust later as needed. You've got the top cross piece up here and I'm going to move the top cross piece like that and the bottom cross piece like this. That way when I put the top part on up here the bird file will be facing the right direction. And I've got it up here now and I'm like I said I'm about six foot two and it's towering over me so it's so I think what I'm going to do is uh, screw it into the ground to about another uh, eight, maybe eight to a ten inches to a foot and see from there. So if, uh, if you get the just the uh, perch kit, that's it. You know, you come up with this big heavy-duty perch kit with all sorts of possibilities for attaching your bird-related uh, feeding and observing things, and then. Pro kit comes with the, the Wi-Fi camera that works off your home Wi-Fi. One thing about it, you can just disconnect the bottom, take it off, and then uh, screw it in a little bit more, and I'll get back to you here. I've got the uh, bird fly pole system all set up. I've got the base in there. I've inserted the base pretty deeply into the soil. The pole system itself is uh, really quite tall and that gives it quite a bit of support. And I've got the four sections here. I've got the baffle. 
two crossbars with eight hooks, which gives you all sorts of possibilities of arranging your bird feeding. And at the very top, the uh, bird fight cap. And you have to, it's so big you have to stand back away to get it all into a phone. And then we'll hang some stuff on it, and uh, the next step would be to figure out where to put the cameras. Well, it's a nice sunny day, but really windy, but I've got the uh, pole finished up here. I've got the solar panel up on the one bracket and the Wi-Fi camera on the other. And it has two camera brackets and two flexible camera or solar power mount. You can really adjust it the way you want. Right now, I've got the Wi-Fi camera focused on the Wingscape's auto feeder, which is really a great feeder. It's, I've had it two years now, and it's really held up well. So I'll, there'll be some videos of the buntings, and I'll probably put some peanuts on there just to test out the camera. The other thing about this pole, though, this is the pro pole set that comes with a Wi-Fi camera and the solar power. But, you know, you don't have to buy the camera. It's got a real nice camera mounting system, so you could mount a trail camera, a GoPro action camera, or even a DSLR on here in any number of ways to get some really high-quality pictures of your birds if you want to experiment with that. Pretty much whatever you want with whatever camera you have because it's a standard tripod mount. So the BirdFi pole system is really well-made, solid, quite large, and uh, flexible and adjustable, so you can do just about whatever you want to with it. You see, I've put on a selection of four different kinds of feeders here and it'll obviously hold a lot of weight. You can even put um, bamboo bird feeder or the uh, traditional bird five feeder on here too and use the straps around the mount or something like that. In my case I like to have the other feeders with cameras separate and have this set up for a selection of birds.